Hey, what's up YouTube? Casual Yu-Gi Stuff back bringing you another incredible Yu-Gi-Oh! opening. Today we have a Rise of Destiny special edition that we will be opening. Very excited for this one guys. We are looking to get some ultimate rares and a massive shout out and thank you to all of those people who have participated in today's box break. Those guys are in here. I'm going to pick out their names at random. This will be a premiered video. You guys will be watching it live. I will be the only one to know what pools we have got. And if you are excited, if you are new to the channel, or if you're just here to see some casual openings, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm giving away a PSA graded card today. If this video gets 98 likes, I'm going to be giving away a crab turtle. So 98 likes guys, not 100 this time, slightly lower, but we're giving away a Crab Turtle EN variant. If you didn't know, this is my favourite card in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Crab Turtle was the first ever Yu-Gi-Oh! card that I saw, so if you want to win it, leave a like, leave a comment. Your comment must be regarding Rise of Destiny, if you have any memories to do with this set, what your favourite card is from this set. Basically anything to do with um, Rise of Destiny you can win, my buddy Crab Turtle. So, sad to see him go, but he's going to... a great home in one of you guys guys so I'm very very happy with that and um, yes just a little quick announcement before we get into the break I am also doing a photon shockwave booster box break this is a first edition box North American box if you are interested in getting involved there are 12 packs left drop me a line well, in the comments or on Instagram at casual yugi stuff and um, I'd love to get this one sold out for tomorrow so we can go live on Sunday uh, or even do another premiere box break like this but I'd like to go live tomorrow there's 12 packs left guys hit me up on Instagram so Rise of Destiny special edition I think it's time to crack this thing open but before we do just a little quick announcement as to what cards we can get there are four variant cards three first edition packs one of only special editions to have first edition packs inside of it um, you can get Dark Magician Girl, which is the hit card to get from here, from the variant cards. You can get Vampire Lord, you can get Diffusion Wave Motion, and you can get Curse of Anubis. So there are pretty good cards in here, so you want to get that Dark Magician Girl. I'm hoping to see at least two or three Dark Magician Girls, guys, so without further ado, let's get into this beautiful special edition, which is very, very cool. Rise of Destiny is a set that I've opened a little bit of on the channel, but not too much. So let's see how we get on with Rise Destiny. Beautiful special edition, guys. Super duper excited. Ideally, I want to see Dekoichi Ultimate Rare and also like Perfect Machine King or even um, the creator himself would be insane. So look at that. There we go. Beautiful special editions. That is insane. Very, very nice looking, guys. There should be 10 in here, yeah. 10 special editions as seen on display back many, many years ago. I'm going to, in fact, leave this sort of here just in the video. Uh, and we'll see who's up first, guys. I'm going to just start from right and then go down my way through the left-hand side. So, completely random, guys. Best of luck to all those who participated. I was doing these at a pretty cheap and affordable price, especially for those casual members um, in the members group chat. So, let's see what we can get, guys. First off, we have Blue Eyes TCG with one special edition. Best of luck, Mr. Blue Eyes, my friend. Let's see what card we can get you out of the first special edition, guys. Rise of Destiny. Beautiful. Really, really nice artwork, guys. They just don't make them like this anymore. I say that because they don't make special editions at all anymore. So, it's a bit of a shame that they don't make special editions anymore. So let's see what variant card we can get. We got him a Dark Magician Girl. Let's go. So we start off right with a Dark Magician Girl, guys. Just going to move that to the side. We got a Dark Magician Girl. That is a very expensive card. I believe it's around like $25, potentially even more. Let's make sure we don't damage it when we open it. That's insane. Wow. She's been in here since 2004, guys. Wow, look at that card. That's beautiful. Dark Magician Girl. Looks pretty minty indeed. Really, really nice card. So he's basically made almost half of his money back just with this Dark Magician Girl. So Blue Eyes, massive congratulations, my man. Really, really good start to the video. Might be a, a longer video today, guys, but we already got a Dark Magician Girl. Might have to leave these a bit out of the way. Maybe sort of there. And we've got three packs as well. Let's see if we can pull any ultimate rares for him. Pack number one. 
Should be 30 packs in here today. So Zing Zen Hu, very nostalgic. Rock from the Valley of Haze, Lighten the Load, Nightmare Penguin, and Satsuke Samurai number four. Invasion of Flames, Foxfire, Ballista, and Pitch Black Wall. Just a rare out of pack number one for Blue Eyes, but he has got a Dark Magician Girl. Which means he's not completely blank. Come on, I want to see some ulties, guys. Lighten the load. Harpy Lady number two. Creeping Doom Manta. Tactical Espionage. And Machine Duplication. Not a bad rare, actually. Definitely not a bad rare. Um, probably still a couple of dollars, even as a rare. Last pack for Blue Eyes. Can we get him something better than a rare? Come on. Creeping Doom Manta again. Back to square one again. Mirage Dragon. Raging Flame Sprite. Oh, it's just the A-Team Trap Disposal Unit. So just a couple of rares for old school Mr. Blue Eyes. Sorry, this is just Blue Eyes TCG, not old school Blue Eyes. But he did get Dark Magician Girl, which is pretty sweet indeed. And a massive thank you to you, brother, for joining in on the box break. I think he might be happy. Hopefully he's watching in Premiere with his Blue Eyes. With Blue Eyes with Dark Magician Girl. Man, I'm getting a bit confused today. But um, thanks, my man. Thanks for participating, Blue Eyes TCG. Who's up next? Let's find out. Let's see who you are. Let's see if your luck's with you today, Mr. Jordan Lockyer. Let's go, brother. Two special editions for Jordan. Jordan has pulled some pretty nice ulties on the channel. Um, notably from Flaming Eternity and Lost Millennium box breaks that we did. So he's got two special editions today. What can we open for him in here? Let's see. Come on. Let's give him something good. So we're going to see the... Um, let's do the reveal of his cards in a second. Let's do them one by one. So we'll start off with that special edition and then we'll do this one. Just to make it easy. Okay, what do we have? Another Dark Magician Girl! Let's go! This is insane! So we're at 100% rates with Dark Magician Girls, guys. Wow! This is insane! Beautiful! That's so good! That's absolutely amazing, guys. Two Dark Magician Girls. What? And there's four variant cards, so another minty fresh DMG. Wow. I'm never going to get tired of seeing Dark Magician Girl. Beautiful condition. Definitely looks like it can PSA 9. At least, maybe slightly off center, top to bottom, but uh, definitely one to, to keep um, or consider to be graded anyway. So let's go. We have three packs for our buddy. Let's see what we can get. Good luck, Jordan. Have a nice little conversation in the chat, guys, as to what you think we will pull here. I'm hoping to pull at least one ulti. We should, in theory, get two ultis. Element Magician and Picaru's Circle of Enchantment. So we do see a foil finally after four packs. I say finally, but back in the day, you really weren't guaranteed foils at least one in four, or was it one in six that was a super rare? I should tell us on the back. What's the ratios for a super rare? It is... We'll say underneath here. No, it doesn't. It doesn't say... Some, oh, no, who does? How did I miss that? So, one in uh, six is a super rare. Wow. Ultra rare is one in 24, and... Rare cards is 1 and 1. Uh, ulties are normally 1 and 12, because there's 2 per box. Can you get yes. Lighten the load. Mystical Knight Jackal there, look at him. Harpy Lady number 2. Creeping Doom Manta. Tactical Espionage. And Flint. Wouldn't mind seeing Flint as an ultimate rare today. Creator Incarnate, I want to see the Creator as well. And Woodborg in Patchy. Third pack for Jordan. Let's see if we can get him. Rise of Destiny. Ooh, it looks like we might have a foil. One, two, three, four, and five. Do that pack trick. Woodberg and Packy again. Bakoichi, the frightening the frightening car. Heavy mech. Astral. Back to square one. Lighten the load. Harpy Lady 2. Creeping Doom Manta. Oh, it's just a Gaia Soul. The combustible. Interesting. So another dud special edition, kind of, because we only got super rare, but. What can the next one be? Ooh, it's Diffusion Wave Motion. So, I always forget the name of this card for some reason. I don't know why, but I never remember it. Diffusion Wave Motion. 
I really had to look like three times before recording the video. What's the fourth card in here? Curse of Anubis, Vampire Lord, DMG, and Diffusion Wave Motion. So we've got two Yugi cards for him. They kind of go together. They go well together, at least. Okay. Let's see what we can get out of Jordan's fourth pack. Good luck, Jord. Mirage Dragon. Copies Hunting Ground. Raging Flame. Things in. Who? Rare Metal Morph. Would have been a lovely card to get as an ultimate rare. Even Covering Fire, is that in this set? As well as Divine Wrath. I think they are, yeah. <sighs> These packs have one of the most nostalgic uh, smells. This era of like Soul of the Duelist, Rise of Destiny, and uh, Flaming Eternity. A very powerful smell. And we have a Triangle Ecstasy Spark. Another super rare uh, for Jordan. Look at those harpies. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Two super rares. Not great. We have got a Dark Magician Girl. That kind of saves the day. Saves his bacon. Nightmare Penguin! Homunculus. Spell Purification. Mighty God and a serial spell. Fruits of Kozaki Studies. And Bokoichi. So, two super rares from six packs. I mean, you're only guaranteed one, so... Not bad from Jordan, but definitely not ideal. Like, Dark Magician definitely saves the day. In fact, what I'm going to do is just pop your name inside of the Diffusion because it's probably the lesser of the two good ones. Leave Dark Magician go there. So, Jordan, thank you, my man. Really, really appreciate you, and shout out to you as you are a casual member of the channel. So, we're three special editions now, guys. We've still got seven to go. And I'm hoping to pick up the pulls as well because we've not done that well, we've only got two super rares from three special editions, so James Fiorucci with one special edition. Let's see if we can get to James. Shout out to James, he's a local to me. We have yet to meet up in person, but I'm sure we will get there one day. If you are watching James, let me know now, comment what you would like to see. Or even if you are watching guys. Okay, we just got a uh, judgment of Anubis for him, I completely forgot to... Uh, to do the big reveal, but um, at least we've seen, haven't seen that one yet. Judgment of Anubis, not a Dark Magician girl, but it's a Judgment of Anubis. Let's take a little look at this artwork. The secret rare from Dark Crisis, I believe it is the retail secret rare from the 36 pack box. Pretty cool. Judgment of Anubis, James. Three packs, all first edition. Oh, let's go. Let's keep it casual, guys. Codes 5A on the back as well. Come on, let's get let's get an ulti, guys. We need to up that ultimate rare counter. Mighty Guard, Mirage Dragon, Rock from the Valley of Haze, Harpy Girl, and Ulti Insect Level 3. I tell you what, I was kind of expecting Jordan to put Ulti Insect Level 3. Um, and if, he, if someone does, I'm sure Jordan would want to hit you guys up because he pulled Ulti Insect Level 7 and Level 5, first edition from my previous box break. So... It's a shame that he didn't pull level 3, that would have made, honestly, Yu-Gi-Oh! history. <sighs> covering fire! Really want to see this in all team. We've got Cannon Soldier there, covering for Mechanical Chaser. Beautiful artwork on that. Ooh, we've got the double Woodberg and Pachy. Wow, the Woodberg and Pachy. Beautiful. A little bit of a double up there, but James, can we pull you something? Thanks for participating, my man. Really want to get you something. Really hope we can see like an ulti or even like an ultra rare. Although, really been uh, unlucky so far. Mind Hacksaws, Raging Flame, Spell Purification. Fusilier, Dragon of the Dual Mode Beast. <sighs> Just another rare, my man. And only a Judgment of Anubis, bro. That was probably our worst special edition so far. James, keep your head high, my friend. There will be better times. Can't tell you how many people I've seen fail at box breaks and then come back and then grab, you know, a Gilgarth or something. You know, Zach will be able to let you know if he's here watching as well. Okay, guys, come on. Four more left. Rise of Destiny. It's more like the, the fall of Destiny so far. We've not done very well at all. Who do we have? We have... Here he is. Speaking of Zach, here he is. Zach Hufford with two special editions. So he gets the last one from this side and then another one from here. Here and in fact, uh, I might just leave that sort of like that so we can see how many we've got left. So, two special editions for Zach. Best of luck, Zachy, my man. You are a true hero, a true legend. 
can't remember a box break that I did that you didn't participate, bro. So really big shout out to you. Um, let's keep it casual for you. Guys, I just want to see something over a super rare, to be honest. Um, an ultra rare would do. Diffusion wave motion. Okay, that's fine. We'll start off with a diffusion. So we're two DMGs and we've got two diffusions and one judgment. We've got no vampire lords yet, which is interesting. So there's diffusion wave motion. Nice, nice card. Sleeved up. And let's get cracking for his first three packs of RDS, Rise of Destiny. Oh, this is it, guys. This is the pack. This is the pack we're going to do insane. Lighten the load. Harpy Lady number two. Creeping Doom Manta. Tactical Espionage Expert. And another Picaroos Circle of Enchantment. And the double Woodberg Impachi. Double Impachis, guys. A creepy Impachi. So at least we've got a, uh, a foil out of that first pack. We need an Ultra or an Ulti soon, guys. What's going on? Creeping Doom Manta. Tactical Espionage Expert. Nightmare or Penguin. Rock from the Valley of Haze. Covering fire. What are we covering? Fire. Not a Ulti yet. Come on. It's changing around. Let's turn it all around now, guys. Harpy's Hunting Ground. Mind Hacksaws. Back to square one. Up you go, Fusilier, the dual mode beast. Just another rare. So one super rare again. We've not been able to get more than a super rare. Can we get another Dark Magician Girl? A Judgment of Anubis. So he got the spell and trap for Zach. Not ideal. We got really lucky with two Dark Magician Girls already at the beginning. But let's see if there are any more. We've still got four left. I'm expecting a Vampire Lord at least. So, um, let's go. At least I think Vampire Lord is in here. Pretty sure he is. Harpy Lady number two. Tactical Espionage, Element of Magician, Harpies. Festalos, the Firestorm Monarch. Our best pull of the video so far is a Festalos, the Firestorm Monarch. Beautiful, love the Monarchs. Absolutely gorgeous cards. And thank God we've got one. Come on, Zaki. Zach the man. Can you get me something better than a super rare? So he's already matched um, matched the record of two super rares out of two special editions. Can he get something else? Back to square one. Lighten the load. Satsuki Samurai number four with Woodberg and Patchy. Last pack of magic already for Zach. Tactical espionage expert. Element Magician, Harpy's Hunting Ground, Mind Hack Source, Machine Dupe! I would have loved this to be in an ultimate rare machine duplication, but unfortunately it's just a rare. We'll sleeve it up though. So again, we've only got two super rares and the two guaranteed ultras for, uh, for Zach. Haven't been very lucky, guys, but if you're still yet to go in this box break, you must be getting a bit excited because ratios and luck has it should be in your favour. So... Zach, my man, not ideal, bro. Probably not much value back at all out of those packs, which is a really big shame. But let's see what we can do. 18 minutes into the video, guys. Hope you're enjoying this premiere today. Saturday. Let me know what you're up to as well, down in the chat today. Here we go, Charlie. So Charlie's first box break ever is now. Let's see if he can uh, get some insane cards out of his Rise of Destiny Special Edition. Like I say, if the luck is in his favor and probability as well, because we haven't pulled anything over a super rare yet, now's the chance. Even like a creator ultra rare would be insane. What is he going to get? Big moment. Vampire Lord. Let's go. First one of those that we've seen. And I'd say the second best one to get. Vampire Lord. Really nice. Beautiful, look at that Vampire Lord, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't know how much this Vampire Lord is. Probably like a couple of dollars, maybe? It's very OC, left and right, and top to bottom, so that's a bit of a shame, but... We want to get an ulti for Charlie. Wish him best of luck in the chat, guys. He is a newbie. 
Will he get beginner's luck? I don't know, but I want to do the pack trick for this one. Two, three, four, and five. Fruits of Kazaki Studies. Happy Lady One. Astral Barrier. Heavy Mech. Creeping Doom. Tactical. Nightmare. Rock. And a Team Trap Disposal Unit. Just a... We need this casual Yuki stuff luck, guys. <laughs> I don't know where it's been. We need to find it again. Where's the luck gone? Come on. Come on, ulti. Element Magician. Back to square one. Zing Zen Hu. Harpies. Satsuke Samurai number four. We've seen this card three times. But we've not pulled an ulti version of it yet. Last pack magic. Come on. Come on, Charlie. Let's go. Come on, back to square one. Come on! Sing Zen Hu. Harpies? Harpy girl? Ah, machine duplication! Just another rare. What is actually going on, guys? This is pretty scary. We've not pulled an ultra rare out of, I think, like 18 packs. We've opened more. Out of 21 packs, we've not pulled a single um, over a super rare, which is kind of weird when you think about it. But hey, oh, Yu-Gi-Oh! isn't always fun in games. We've had some insane luck on the channel thus far. Um, let me just put these cards down. Who's up next? There's two people. Someone has got two, and the last person has got one. Who have we got up next, guys? We need uplifting in this video. Opening incredibly old products. Better call Yugi with one special edition. Shout out to you, Johnny Boy. Thanks for participating, my friend. He's got one special edition. Let's see if we can get him a Dark Magician Girl. It's funny how we saw Dark Magician Girls at the beginning, and we haven't seen one since for like the last six special editions. We've not seen one for the last five, actually. This is the seventh. There we go, of course. Better call Yugi calls out the Dark Magician Girl. Makes sense, right? If you're called Yugi, you're gonna get Dark Magician Girl. There we go, beautiful sealed pack. This reminds me of the old school days, man. They literally don't make stuff like this anymore. So here's DMG, let's check her out. The first reprint of D DMG ever since Magician's Force. And it was kind of close. It was kind of like only like six months. It was definitely less than a year after Magician's Force that this set came out, or maybe like, actually no, 2003, yeah, maybe a year, a year, a year, a year and a half maximum, so you didn't have to wait long to get your hands on an affordable copy of, copy of DMG, and everyone used to have this copy of Dark Magician Girl back in the day, I strictly remember that because, yeah, that's just how it used to be back in the day, Spell Purification, Mighty Guard, Mirage Dragon, Rock from the Valley of Haze, Setsuke Samurai is the troll. He is the troll. We've pulled this guy, I think, four times, maybe even five times? Crazy. Ridiculous. Come on. Rise of Destiny. This looks like it could be something. Grooving Doom Manta. Hoffy Lady number two. Tactical Spionage. It's just a machine duplication. The best rare to get, but like, again, where are the foils at? Bruh. Alright, here we go. One more pack. Better call Yugi, bro. He's got Dark Magician Girl. You can't be too sad, but... Dude, these trolls are ridiculous. What are all these trolls? Invasion of Flames, Mira Malice Dispersion, Foxfire, Eagle-Eyed, Harpy Girl, which is uncensored Har Harpy Girl. Homunculus, Mind Hacksaws, Raging Flames, Sprite, and there we go! Perfect Machine King! Very nice ultra rare to see. I'm almost equally as happy to see this as I would have been the creator, so this is actually a really solid pull. Better call Yugi, finally getting another ultra rare, which is exciting. The best special edition so far, guys. He's got DMG, Perfect Machine King, and Machine Dupe. So really, really well done. And congratulations to Better Call Yugi, bro. That was insane, John. Johnny, my boy. Um, yeah, that was class. Really, really happy for you there, bro. Let's see if the last person can get an ulti, I hope. We've only got one more to go. One more person who's got two special editions, so... Who are you and where are you from? I believe it is Belial. 
uh, Basti, sorry, Basti, 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 also his first time box breaking, so we have two first time box breakers within Charlie and Basti, so Rise of Destiny, thank you, but so far you've not done us any favours, you've not been great, can we pull him a Vampire Lord and a, and a Dark Magician Girl, that would be insane, so we've got three Dark Magician Girls, two Judgment of Anubis, two Diffusions and one Vampire Lord, so far. Let me know if you want me to ship you your empty box as well, guys. I can happily put one together again for you and put the empty packs inside if you like. Okay, guys. 25 mins in. We've got two special editions left. Let's keep it casual, please. Vampire Lord. We will take Vampire Lord. That's the second one we've seen today. Beautiful card, very, very nice. Again, slightly OC, top to bottom. This one's a bit better left to right, probably with PSA 9. Come on, Belial. Good luck, my friend. Nightmare Penguin. Homunculus. Spell Purification. Mighty Guard. A Team Trap Disposal Unit. Of course, we've seen these dudes quite a lot as well in today's video, just not an ulti. It would have been great to see them in ulti. I think Basti pulled a ultimate red Decoichi, I think. Uh, when he opened this set before. So maybe we can get him uh, something good as well. Eagle Eye, Malice Dispersion, Invasion of Flames, Fox Fire, Mirage Dragon, Harpies, Raging Flame, Zing Zen Hu, and... <sighs> Big Core! <laughs> I forgot this card even existed. Big Core! Wow, I hadn't seen this card in a very long time. At least several months. Big core, guys. Super rare. Comes as an ulti as well, which looks kind of nice as an ulti. But just a super rare version of big core today. Okay, back to square one. Mirage Dragon. Raging Flame Sprites. Zing Zen Hu. Machine Duplication. Machine Duplication. Good. It's a good rare. It's a very good rare. Definitely a couple of dollars still, even as a rare. Last special edition, guys. Can we get Dark Magician Girl? Another Vampire Lord. Interesting. So at least we got three Vampire Lords, three Dark Magician Girls, and two spells and two magic and two traps. Could have been worse. Could have definitely been worse for Basti, but I guess he's a bit upset that he didn't get a. Oh, this one's really, uh, really well centered, actually, and really good condition. Really nice. This one could definitely do better at PSA. So, last three packs, guys. Good luck, Basti. Save the best till last. That's what I always say. Can we do it? Mirage Dragon. Rock from the Valley of Haze. Hacksaws. Harpy Girl. Big core. I hope you like this card, bro. It was seeing a little bit of a theme here. Ooh, double. Yeah, I was going to say, we're seeing a bit of a theme here. We're getting duplicates. Duplicate Imparches, duplicate Vampire Lords, and duplicate Big Cores. Are we playing uh, Snap, or what's going on? This is crazy. Two Vampire Lords. Oh, if we get a Machine Duplication, now seriously. Yeah, we're going to get an Ultimate Rare Machine Duplication now. That's what's going to happen. That is exactly what's going to happen. Come on. Spell Purification. Mighty Guard. Don't even think we've seen this card today yet. Nightmare Penguin. Whoa. Look how off-center this thing is. Crazy. Back to square one. <sighs> Ultimate Insect level three. I really want to see this card as an ulti. I really, really do. Oh, it's that magic. We've not got an ulti, guys. This is crazy unlucky. It's Honestly, we should have been getting like two at least. We should have got like two ultis. Mind Hacksaws. Raging Flame Sprite. Spell Purification. Trap card. Still can be an ulti, guys. It's just a rare covering fire. Oh my lord, that was absolutely shocking, guys. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know what to say. We didn't pull an ulti from 30 packs. Crazy. And good old um, Basti got basically a big core vampire lord machine sandwich. Crazy. 
Guys, if you enjoyed the opening, nonetheless, sometimes you've got to open the product to see what's inside. We just probably got a bad special edition. That's just sometimes how it goes, I guess. I will not give up on Rise of Destiny, guys. I'll be doing more box breaks of this set very, very soon. Um, and like I mentioned, we do have the Photon Shockwave as well with 12 packs left if you want to get involved. Do drop me a line or message on Instagram. And all I can say is thanks to those who participated. I can only apologize on the pools. I can say keep it casual. And I'll see you guys all tomorrow, hopefully with Photon Shockwave or with another video. And um, drop a like if you did enjoy it. And leave a comment because I'm baffled about these balls, it just wasn't great. See you later guys, take care, ciao for now, peace.